Good day everyone! Welcome back to another video part of the Tutor Academy series. Today we will be looking at the email settings of Tutor LMS. So let's not waste a moment and get right to it. So to start off, we can first configure an email template logo. The image or logo that you upload here will show up on the top left of every email that you send out through Tutor LMS. By default, the logo just says Tutor LMS. Then we can configure the email logo height in pixels. So set it to what you feel comfortable. Following that, we can toggle to disable the email banner that comes with every email sent out. We can then set the name under which the emails will be sent and also the email addresses that will be used to send the emails from. And then we can customize the text we want to show on our email footer. So once we're done with all that, we can now find a lot of toggles. So what are these? We can see that the toggles are segmented into three categories. Emails to students, email to teachers, and email to admins. Basically, these are specific notification emails that go out when the specified event occurs. So if you turn on the toggle to, for example, assignment graded, then a student will get an email regarding that once their assignment has been graded. But of course, the main highlight of all this is the email template editor that you can dynamically customize right from Tutor LMS. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Let's, for example, edit the email template for the course enrolled email. Once at this menu, we can see that we have two different things going on. So on the left, we can edit the template and on the right, we get a dynamic view of the edits that we are making and what the email will look like. So under the template content, we first have the option to edit the subject of our email. Here, we can select what the subject of our email will be. After that, we can edit the email heading to our wish. We can see that both of these come with a default meaningful text already, but let's go ahead and change the heading to something else. So we can have the heading say, congratulations on enrolling. And we can see that as we have typed this out on the right side, the change is happening instantly. So this is quite intuitive. And lastly, we can edit the content or the main body of the email. And this also, like before, comes with a pre-filled text. And it also dynamically fetches the name of a course to which the student has enrolled. So once we're satisfied with the changes made, we go ahead and hit save changes. And we're done. This is the email that will go out to a student every time a new student enrolls into a new course. Last but not least, we have the WordPress cron for bulk email setting. So enable this setting if you want to use the native WordPress scheduler to send emails. Then you can configure the frequency in seconds where the cron setup will run. By default, it is set to 300. And lastly, you can set how many emails you want to send out per instance of WP Cron running. So let's say if you have 50 emails to go out to 50 students and you set the frequency to 300 and emails per execution as 10. That means that every five minutes, WP Cron will send out 10 emails to 10 students. Well, that's it everyone. We hope that this tutorial helped you out and as always, like this video if you found it helpful and of course comment down below if you have any questions and have a good one.